guys, it's Fuzzy here. Um, I just wanted to do a video on uh, my ASUS Transformer Prime. It just now got the Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0 update uh, today. I guess it's the 9th, I believe. It was supposed to come out the 12th, but it got two days early, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up. This takes probably about 15 minutes to update. It takes for freaking ever. Um, this is playing at 800 times the speed, so I would imagine it's about a minute, this clip. A minute and 45 seconds, I think it is. Um, so I sped it up a lot, so just be aware that it's going to take a while to update, guys. Um, once, well, the, you ha the, the only way to get it is by going into your settings and then going down to About Tablet and then hitting Software Update and then hitting Check Now and then Check For It, and, and it will be there. Um, I would imagine uh, it'll show up and then it'll come down in your little notification bar at the bottom right and you just got to click it and let it go um, and then accept everything you know the standard it takes about it'll go to this screen you know for I think it's on the screen for like 12 minutes probably um, so this isn't actually going to be like an, a review of it it's just basically the first look and like the, the booting up of it um, and the downloading uh, I just wanted to show this because not many people are probably going to post this they're probably just going to post reviews on the actual software itself so for those of you that wanted to see what it looks like when you're downloading and how long it takes, you know, whatever. Um, so after I get, uh, once this boots up, I'm going to show you a clip here of me messing with the, the UI and uh, just a few little things that they added. It's not going to be a full-fledged detailed analysis of what this software includes because it's they updated a lot. Um, I'm going to have the specifics for you guys probably up tomorrow or the next day depending on how busy I am. So let's check it out. So what you see here is just the home screen. Uh, when it boots up, when you unlock your device, this is what you're going to see. Um, it's just basically a walkthrough of the the interface. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's basically the same as the uh, as Honeycomb. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot faster. Um, as you can see, when I jumped from the app menu to the home screen, it's, it's pretty rapid. You can now resize your widgets, which is pretty cool. Uh, they're built in folders. Uh, little things they did on the home screen to improve it. Obviously, the, the speed of it is, is probably the greatest benefit of this update. Um, they also changed the color and the layout of the notification center. Um, you can now see the Wi-Fi name at the top displayed. Uh, it's a little bit taller, um, so it's pretty cool. It still gives you the battery status. You can still change IPS. You know, if you want to want to boost up the the performance, you can. Same as before. This basically is just an update uh, that they're trying to push out for a uh, a camera update. Um, I didn't go. I didn't do it for here. Um, I just didn't want to wait. Take take the time because it would turn off my device. Um, anyway, as we continue, I'm gonna hopefully get to show you. Uh, the different settings in here. I'll, I'll go more into detail. I will go more into detail with this on the other video that I'll be making probably within a few days of all the specifics. But as you can see, you know, the settings changed a little bit. There's a few toggles now instead of just having to click the check mark like the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth. It's a pretty easy on off. Um, uh, it, they added more to it so you can see your data usage, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go down here, I'm going to show you quick the, uh, the truth that it is on 4.0. Alright, so what I'm showing here, you can't really see, um, but there is uh, a few added features such as developer uh, options. Um, you can, you know, you can show the CPU usage, um, show the touches, like you can, if you're a developer and you're making an app, you can change whether or not you see your, your finger swiping or whatever, like it'll have an animation on the screen, which is pretty cool, especially it's it's promoting uh, new apps, which I, I like. Um, so I mean, you can you know you change a change basically everything. But there you go, you can clearly see that it's on Android 4.03, um, so it is updated to Ice Cream Sandwich. As far as I know, this is the first tablet to run Ice Cream Sandwich ever. It's also the first quad core tablet. So besides the Nexus, uh, the new Nexus that has Ice Cream Sandwich built into it. Um, this is the only device out there besides that. The uh, the biggest problem that I have with the update is there is no facial recognition unlock, um, which kind of bugs me because I think that would be a pretty cool feature. I don't know why they didn't include it in this. 
Um, but okay, so right now I'm going to show you quick uh, some of the new wallpapers they added, so I'm just going to let you enjoy that. one more thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, there's a little thing that you can swipe basically to the left to X out of any notification. So uh, as you can see down here, I'm going to swipe. It won't immediately do this because those have to be there unless I turn them off. Um, so what you'll see, see how you can slide it. Uh, it'll delete that uh, if you want. So I just deleted the, the notification to update. Um, so I mean, there's a, there, they added a lot of little features, but that was just a little taste that I wanted to give you. Um, so let me know what you think guys, uh, leave me some comments, let me know what games you want to see, what apps you want to see on this thing, uh, but above all, thanks guys, thanks for watching.